In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some more Inside the Mind gameplay. This is a series that I'm doing where basically I'm just trying to give you guys some really, really solid content that you can use that can really take your game to the next level. And what I'm trying to do is play, kind of show you my strategy in the middle of a game. So this is all. You know, no editing required. It's just a straight online match uh, in the in the tournaments, and I'm just showing you kind of how I use the different schemes that I have and really the play calling behind it. So if you guys want to watch the rest of the video, be my guest. My name is Cody. I want to welcome those of you that this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel. And I would just encourage you just to do me a really big favor here and just watch the entire video and uh, let me know what you think of the video once the video is over. So again, guys, just want to thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. And that's something right there, what just happened that normally I try to limit and that of these deep streak um, patterns, normally people don't execute those that well with, against me. Um, normally I have it pretty locked down with the cover two, but sometimes occasionally I'll go um, cover four. And I actually find when I go cover four, the deep coverage is not as solid as it is when I go cover two. But there's a really good play by Ronnie Lott. But anyways, guys, defensively, again, I talked about this in the first video I did on this, and we're going to expand on it a little bit. Um, by the way, if you want to get to the setups, you want to get the setups, you want to get the defense that, I've, that I'm using in this game, you'll see I get pressure with only two people. Um, you can check that You can check that defense out. Um, it is in the premium membership, so I'm sure you know everybody that's watched a video of mine has probably heard it at some point me talk about this premium membership. And what the premium membership is, is it is a... Um, basically a year long subscription to all of my content and um, and pretty much anything that I produce, you can find it in the premium membership. Oh, there is just terrible user. I could have had that I set right there. But anyways, guys, what I'm trying to do with my defense is I'm trying to do, I, what I do every year is I try to find the defense that in my opinion, uh, best covers the deep routes, the most popular, um, you know, whether that's post routes, you know, in routes, streak routes, whatever it may be, I try to find that defense. And once I find that, um, then I run it and run it and run it and run it. Let's see what he goes to here. If I was him, I'd go dive, goes power O, nice call. If he goes no huddle, we'll time out. Nope. And then I, but anyways, what I do is I try to find that defense, that, that one defense that I can sit down and I can really honestly say, you know, this defense can take away what I would say the big play plays are. Every year you have certain plays that are you know, really good for big yardage. And this play, this playbook specifically, normally will take that stuff away. The plays that I use are sim are really simply designed because I, de I designed my entire defense around this one common goal. And that common goal is to give up field goals, to force my opponent to field goals. If my opponent scores a touchdown, you know, I feel like I have really let my, my team down. As you can see there, that was really frustrating to me to let up that touchdown. So that's what I try to do. Now, again, I don't always succeed. As you can see here, I gave up a touchdown. Uh, if you guys watched yesterday's video, you saw that I gave up a, um, like a two point conversion. I mean, it should be seven to seven to seven right now. And it's, you know, it's eight to six. So, you know, definitely not the most, you know, most um, consistent player, but I feel like overall I'm pretty solid. And there's a lot of things that I've been able to learn um, just from playing the game for years. So something, some things that you can definitely benefit there. I, yeah, that kind of sucks. I was trying to let it go in the end zone to save me some time. And I ended up, ended up biting it, biting me in the rear end. But offensively here, uh, I get the ball at halftime, so there's no real serious, like, you know, need, in my opinion. But there are a couple things that you can do, especially depending on the coverage that your opponent gives you. So if your opponent has backed off corners, um, in, my, in my opinion, this year's game, you should throw out routes. You should use this play from verticals. Those two plays com combined with one another, or those two routes, um, are really really good and you can check that out in the premium membership that whole play is broken down but when the cornerbacks are back in my opinion this year is very similar to um madden 13 one of the one of the principles that i had in madden 13 and i really didn't it really wasn't mine i learned it from z farls and s gibbs over at uh, that time it was maddentips.com they now do some of the announcing for ea sports but 
what they said that really resonated with me was if the corners are back, then throw the throw the out route. You know, if they're up, if pressed up, then that could mean they're in cover too. So you don't really want to do that. So again, that's just a little thing that I've kind of carried with me, and and it's still kind of stuck true. Um, you know, for the most part here, Tariq Cohen gets some good blocks here. So offensively, though, my strategy um, now, obviously the core strategy that I have is to not turn the ball over, to sustain drives, um, to take to take what the defense gives me. And really what it means and boils down to is to not make mistakes. Um, because in my opinion, it's not necessarily about making the right read, but it's about not making the wrong read. If you, if you can really... You know, if you can not throw interceptions and you cannot fumble the ball, most people are going to do pretty good. So I try to just limit that, uh, limit interceptions, limit limit fumbles. All the while, I do throw more than I run. So, you know, that does make that hard at times. And there are games where I, I do have, you know, bad mistakes. But anyways, this guy's running a lot of press coverage and really has ran a lot of man coverage. So it's one of a new, kind of a new theme that a lot of people are doing lately is they're running a lot of man-to-man coverage. Um, and so what I do is I run some crossing routes um, right there. It didn't quite work out very well. But what I'll do is I'll run crossing routes. I'll run uh, slant routes, motion out slant routes. That works really well. C routes work really well. Um, you know, different things that you can do. Um, you know, that, that's what you really want to look at when you're trying to beat man to man. You're trying to basically beat two men under. That's that's really the man coverage that I find the most difficult to beat. As you saw there, he's ran it twice in a row and I can't get a can't get a good good uh, route open. So now we're looking at this. As you can see, he shows pressure off that left side. So what I'm gonna do is is kind of keep an eye on that. Um, again in the video that I talked about reading the defense, um, oh that really sucked. So offense came out and really laid an egg for me, so I'm gonna have to punt. A lot of Madden players that you see will seem to go for it no matter what. And I don't really believe that that's the right policy. I think sometimes people can, their, their judgment can be overshadowed by their talent. So because someone's really good, we think that they're, they're smart. And that's not always true. Sometimes people can be really good, and, but they're just because they're talented. And so when you're playing Madden, in my opinion, mo the general truism is if it's, you know, like where I'm in, where it's on your side of the field, um, unless you're at like midfield, you know, you need to go ahead and punt that ball. Um, it's just not worth, you know, trying to, excuse me, trying to, um, trying to go for it, especially with the way the pass rush works, the way man coverage works this year. I mean, this guy's man coverage has, has done a really good job on some of my routes that normally beat man to man. So, but anyways, so defensively here, my strategy has not changed um, at all. You know, if I hold him to a touchdown, this is where a lot of people, in my opinion, make a lot of mistakes when, when we're talking Madden, is they get discouraged, and then because of their discouragement, then they start to, uh, that's a terrible tackle. It's so frustrating, stupid juke move. But because of their discouragement, they start making mistakes on the other side of the ball. So because the offense came out, kind of laid an egg, then the defense comes out, and then I'm trying to win the game all by my defense. And what, what happens, and this is, this is the same thing that happens in big organizations, is you lose sight of the vision. And once you lose sight of the vision, you might as well go ahead and just stop showing up because you, you're not focused, you're scattered. And then you're just kind of running around a reactionary. Defensively, my strategy stays the same um, unless unless it's like, you know, fourth quarter, and I have to get a stop. Until then, you know, my strategy is pretty much the, sh it's just the same all the way through. As, as my real goal is to force a field goal, right? I mean, that's, you know, that is my, that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. And so, you know, if I can do that one thing, in my opinion, my defense will be successful. You know, and 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 again, I just. I just see this over and over again. If you watch any Madden tournament, and I, I think that's something good you guys should do, is go to YouTube and take a look at some of the Madden challenges. Take a look at, you know, maybe the, the club series, you know, whatever it may be. But take a look at some of the tournaments and what you'll come to find uh, for a lot of these tournaments. And there we go. Nice stop by the defense. But for a lot of these tournament players, one of the things that they do is they get discouraged. They get down. They start kind of deviating from the strategy, they blitz more, they, uh, 
you know, they start to try to maybe, you know, stop the flat routes or whatever it is. To me, you stick to the strategy, man. Um, and I, I just really believe in that. So, again, this guy's going man-to-man -man coverage. I have a play from here that's actually part of the reason I chose this uh, formation that can beat man-to-man -man pretty good. That, as you see there, that PA post does a pretty good job, too. If if you guys haven't seen all the write-ups I've done, I've, I've been running PA post for the better part of a five-year period here. So, you know, definitely nothing new to me. Here he checks out, as you see, the audible. He probably checked into cover three. Um, no, looks like he's still in man. So we're going to use that nice natural pick and rub. That's one reason I use the bunch every single year. A lot of people don't really understand. They think that the bunch is a glitch. And the reality is it's not a glitch. What it is, is it gives you the opportunity to beat man-to-man -man coverage, which a lot of formations don't. Uh, if you really looked at it, there Tariq Cohen makes a nice juke. And the offense is able to score. But anyways, guys, again, if you want to check out the um, full scheme breakdowns, you want to really get the setups, you want to get the whole system, the reads, the progressions, all of that stuff, then you're going to have to check out the premium membership, which is in the description. You can check that out. Again, it lasts for an entire year. So the content that you're going to be able to get access to is just absolutely insane. So in my opinion, you know, definitely, definitely check that out. But the other side of the coin here. Oh, man, I threw another pick six. Willie Sneed better catch this guy. Man, that sucks. I can't I can't make red zone reads. But anyways, guys, um, they're the – gosh, I just missed it. 